Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Yon here, back in the video. And today, you guys want to know about the title. I'm doing my first creative tutorial of 2022. And from the title, as you guys can see, I'm going to tell you guys how to make a live event. But this is the updated version. Because I, I made one, I made one like a few months back, like last year or something. I forgot what, whenever I made it. But uh, it's, it's, it's going to be better now because there's a new device that was added in today's update. And I'm going to show you how to use it and stuff. So... Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm assuming you guys are on your map. So let me just tell you guys the materials you're going to need for this. Let me just get in here real quick. I made a whole box and stuff. Yeah, so first of all, you're going to need this. It's called a real-time clock. You're going to need this. This is going to, like, connect. So you're, uh, you can, you know, start your level whenever you want. I, I, it's, I think this is just optional. You don't really have to have this, but I recommend it. It'd be really cool. The next thing you're gonna need is the prop manipulator. This is the new device that just came out today. This is one of this is probably one of the best devices to ever, ever be created. Because I I, I actually I actually I've always always wanted this device to like you know come into the game and stuff. So I'm very happy it's here. And I'll tell you guys how to use it and stuff. Then you're gonna want, of course, some triggers. I already know. Triggers, you you need them to trigger the uh prop manipulator and stuff so yeah and then you also need any prop you want it doesn't not matter what prop you have just just use it whatever you need for the love and stuff and then you're gonna need a sequencer and lots of channels because channels are very important to connect the things to happen all right so just for an example i have i have made a whole entire live event for this literally so pretty much it it's it's simple all you have is just a rocket right here, and then it goes up, and then 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 it goes over here, goes, keeps going down, keeps going down, and then you can see this right here, it crashes. Now these things, I'll tell you how they use these. So pretty much, let's say you, you want to get a prop, right? Uh, I'm going to get a random prop. Let's do the Art Deco prop gallery, and let's get a chair, for example, okay? Let's get a chair, right? Get the chair. Oh, wait. Here we go. Get the chair, right? Uh, I'm going to just copy it from over here because this has no channels. Um, get this, right? This is how I use it anyway. So it, it goes out in a certain space, I'm pretty sure. That's how it works. So go over to the chair and then look. Once you touch it, it turns green. That's that's when you can, it actually like gets in the barrier, so it, you're able to use it and stuff. So you touch the prop. Now it's connected to the prop, right? Then you have all of these, yeah, all of these channels to use stuff. You can make it hidden and then you make it like false and then true if it's hidden. I don't know if you guys can see that, which you probably can't. <laughs> um, but and then you can enable it during phase. Um, you can hide the props when receiving from on a specific channel and then show the props on a specific channel. So then you could hide the prop and then make it show again at a specific time, whenever you want. And that's when the triggers and the sequence are coming. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how this is done. So uh you know what? Hold on. Let me let me go to this thing. I, I literally made all these triggers and stuff. It, you could like make the triggers like however you want and stuff. Like the amount of you know channels and how much you want to space the triggers out and stuff. But um I'm gonna choose a di a random time. Random time for where I am. So it's twelve forty right now. So I, I, I keep forgetting how to use this thing. It's kind of hard, but whatever. Um, let's go to, let's go to 40, 43, right? Oh, did it not work? How about, okay, I'll, I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, I figured it out. So the hour is, I like 17. It's probably like, I guess that stands for like 12 or something. I don't really know how that works. And then I made it on 43. So as, as it says, uh, the minute it says the minute that this device will trigger, the hour says the hour that this device will trigger, the day when this device will trigger, you get you guys get the thing, right? So it'll um activate on the minute of 43. So 1243 it'll activate, right? So you have 50 seconds left. And then once that happens, it says over here, when time reached transmit on, this connects to the sequencer. And this says start sequence when receiving from. So then this starts. And then it'll hit all the triggers. Like that. And then this will start activating. So 
this will like this will be here. This this should this should not be hidden, and then all of these things over here will be hidden, and then it'll it'll like come up, and then it'll show, and then hide. And it'll be it'll be showed, and then hide and showed and hide, showed and hide, until it gets all the way down here, and then this this one just explodes. And I don't even know. I I just made it randomly. So let me show you guys an example, but I think I don't have enough time left. So let me just. Yeah, it says like literally one second. Yep. Let me put it to a good time and I'll be back once I'm ready. Alright guys, so as you can see, there's just one rocket there. And there's about 19 seconds until the event starts. So in a matter of seconds, this should just activate by itself. And then this this rocket will like disappear. And then it'll be a rocket up here, then a rocket up here, 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 and go it'll go all the way down until you know it just like, yeah, I guess disappears. Yeah, I'll say it like that. Oh, it's supposed to start. Here you go. There's no music because, you know, kind of lazy. <laughs> okay, it's going down, going down. See ya. Right, right. And then, gone. And then that's pretty much it. So, let me just end this real quick. And that is what I mean by, you know, you can use the problem, the problem manipulator. To make live events. So now I'm gonna get to the point because I know I've been stalling this whole time just trying to make you guys understand. Well, I just hope you, I hope you guys understand this thing. It's really nice. So now we're gonna actually make it. So first thing, uh, I, I, honestly, you guys can make it however you want, but I'm going to use a, this rocket for instance, okay? And I'm gonna use different channels and stuff. So, so pretty much, right? You have the rocket. You have this rocket. And you need the property bleeder. Let me go find it real quick. Here we go. Right. I recommend to put this to put this manipulator if you're using a rocket on the tip because you don't want it to like if like there's a rock if there's another rocket like really close to this thing you don't want it to like just be just be there you know it would it wouldn't look realistic so you keep it there right and then you you don't want it to be hidden so it'd be false it says start hidden not it's gonna be false go over here. It looks like the priority. I think I think I, I just put one. I don't really know what my priority means, but just put one. And then you're gonna go to Oh, you can actually do the prop health. Uh I don't know if you guys would want that. You can make it to Invernable, 50,000, yeah, whatever, blah blah blah. You could show the prop. Never see I don't know where you're seeing from. I'm not gonna use that yet, but you can hide the prop. I'm gonna use that on channel. Let's just do four. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. This is different. Hold on. I didn't see this before. You can put 500 channels on high props. There's half of a thousand channels on this. Wow, that's actually amazing. You can put like 500 props and make them all like disappear and appear. So that's something new to learn. Um, anyways, <laughs> you can do, so let's do, let's do channel 499, okay? That's when it hides. That's when it hides. I'm gonna just put all the rockets in and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll be back when I put all the rockets in. I'm making this thing super duper short, so I put like four rockets, and that's just going up in the air. So you're gonna net, you're gonna then grab the same exact thing, the same exact prop manipulator, put it on the tippy top of the rocket. I'm gonna put a little bit down here, and then what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put it, you're gonna put star hidden on true, and then you're gonna put the hide props. I'm receiving from. I'm gonna put it on channel 498. So that's what I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna just go back on it, and you could show the prop on channel. I think it was 499. Might be a little confusing. I'm, I might be kind of confused because it's kind of going backwards on the bottom one. Yeah, that that's not gonna make sense for me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I hope it doesn't matter. Um. Anyways, so hold on. Let me let me figure this out real quick, guys. Let me back. Okay, I think I got it now. I think I I think I was doing doing it right. So, get the same exact thing, put it on the tippy top, like this, place it there, and then you're going to move it, move it back or forward on your controller, right? And then do the same exact thing for the other thing, and we should be good. Like this, right? Nice. Okay, so now, we, now we've got the four rockets. Is it even four? Yeah, it is four. And they're going up. 
Now, that's not, you think, oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm done now, right? No, you're not even, not even done. You're, you're kind of have, like, half done, but, like, still not done. So, next, you're going to get some C. Oh, uh, uh, that just kind of popped up. So there's a new device, pop, the pop-up dialogue device. I did not see that. Um, I guess they got another update, I guess. I don't know. Um, so where's the, where's the sequencers at? Um, so you guys got to find the sequencers. Oh, here they are. And then you gotta, gotta you guys gotta get triggers. I already told you guys what you needed, so I hope you guys already have them. Yeah, ready to go. Um, here we go. So now you're gonna get your sequencer. Okay. Boom, sequencer. You're gonna put ah uh, ah. Uh, how many how many channels do I have? I think I have like five, right? Let me just check real quick. Okay, seven. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put like four hundred. Yeah. Okay. 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 I have this. I have this. In. So you are going to get the trigger. I'm gonna put them all like close together. So like you got the first trigger. I mean, I think it was like like five hundred. maybe? No. Wait. Yes, it was. I think I don't remember. Five hundred. Right. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's a new update. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I miss. I was misinformed. Um. There's. There's not only. 300 channels there's now 500 channels i'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not sure if that's just me i think it is but whatever 500 and then 499 and then just keep going so i'll be back okay now you should have all these triggers in place like this and then what you're going to want to do you're going to want to get your real-time clock get this uh i'm going to resize it because just to make it bigger and you know you can see it a little bit better uh, boom. And now I need to figure this out, so I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, um, so, of course, you have to put... Okay, let me just tell you something, man, guys. So, the year, of course, it's 2022. You have to put the year as 2022. Then the month is going to be the first month because we're in January. The day, whatever whatever day it is for you, put, put it on that day. For the hour, whatever hour it is for you, probably, like, I don't even know. Um... For me, it's 17. It's like 12 o'clock right now. So you put 17. And then the minute is 50. Well, for me, it's going to be 55 because that's the minute it's going to be activated on. And I actually have 23 seconds before it activates. So I'm going to put it like 56 because make it just to add a minute on. And then um, one thing. You need to put run time when time reached, uh, transmit on. And then I'm putting channel 490. So what I'm gonna do for that is this will activate on also also on channel 490, like exactly like that, and we should be good now, right? I I think so. I'll tell you guys if I make a mistake or not. But uh, yeah, let's see if this event works.